Electrotherapy has been around for many years and is used for treating various health conditions. It is an incredible technology that uses electricity to reduce pain, improve circulation, repair tissues, strengthen muscles, and much more. While surfing on the internet or speaking to your physical therapist, you may have heard about NES and TENS transcutaneous nerve stimulation devices. These are the two most popular devices that conduct electrotherapy, and they are often mistaken one for another. Different types of electrical stimulation. The most common types of electrical stimulation go as it is. EMS electrical muscle stimulation, NMES, or muscular electrical stimulation, FIES, functional electrical stimulation, TENS, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, ETS, EMG triggered stimulation, RETS, reciprocal EMG triggered stimulation. All of these names sound differently but refer to the same thing, electrotherapy. Each one of these units applies electricity to the body intending to increase or decrease activity in the nervous system. They only use the current in different ways and body parts, depending on the needs of patients. TENS What is TENS? Transcutaneous Electric Nerve Stimulation Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation or TENS involves a nerve stimulation technique that uses low-voltage electrical impulses to provide pain relief. A TENS machine is a battery-powered device with pads and electrodes that attach to the surface of the skin and send electrical impulses to the needed area. There are two main theories on how the device works. According to the first one, the electric current stimulates nerve cells to block pain signals and modify the perception of pain. The second one thinks the nerve stimulation raises the level of endorphins, the body's natural pain-killing chemical, which directly blocks the pain. Either way, the TENS unit seems to help a lot in various health conditions and pain types. What is TENS used for? TENS therapy is used for treating both acute and chronic pain caused by various conditions. Here are some of the most common ones TENS has been used for. Osteoarthritis, fibromyalgia, tendinitis, bursitis, low back pain, chronic pelvic pain, diabetic neuropathy, peripheral artery disease, NMES. What is NMES? Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation. Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation, or NMES, uses a low-frequency current to stimulate the nerves and desired muscles, causing them to contract. The action enhances muscle strength and endurance, motor learning, and muscle re-education. The NMES treatment also works to reduce swelling and pain in the muscles. When you exercise, your brain sends a signal to your muscles to contract and relax. On the opposite side, the NMES machine uses electrical current to contract and relax muscles involuntarily. Basically, the unit causes artificial exercises by sending signals through the desired group of muscles to the brain. This way, the device treats the muscles and reduces pain naturally. What is NMES used for? NMES therapy is often used in sports medicine to strengthen and maintain muscles during prolonged periods of immobilization. Athletes and other people who suffered an injury or had to stay inactive for a long time can benefit from NMES therapy. By causing muscle contraction, the NMES device promotes artificial exercises, brings back mobility in the body, and promotes healthy blood flow. It also decreases muscular spasm, reducing pain, and allowing your body to relax. What is the difference between TENS and NMES? Speaking of TENS vs NMES, now you know what makes the main difference between these two devices but we're still going to repeat everything. To sum things up, both TENS and NMES use electrical current to treat body areas. They only do it in different ways and for various purposes. While TENS stimulates the nerves to block pain signals or release endorphins, NMES stimulates nerves and muscles to promote contraction and cause artificial exercise. The TENS machine is mostly used for treating and reducing acute and chronic pain. On the other hand, NMES is useful for muscle strengthening, proper and faster healing, and pain reduction in muscles. With that in mind, you can choose the device that would work best for your particular problem and situation. Which unit should you choose? Deciding between TENS and NMES treatments can be quite challenging. You have to know the main root of your problem and what caused it in the first place, so you can choose the device that will treat the affected area. For example, people who suffer from chronic pain caused by fibromyalgia will benefit directly from TENS therapy, because people with fibromyalgia, osteoarthritis, and similar conditions and diseases need a higher pain tolerance and pain blockage, and MES units can't do much good for them. On the other hand, people who have muscle spasms and pains will find MES therapy more suitable for their problem. They primarily need exercises and muscle strength to fight the problem and not pain blockage that TENS offers. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.